what's up guys welcome to my first video it took me a long time to decide what I wanted to do for my first video then I went and recorded my first gym session and decided that form would be a great topic to start with so as you can see here just doing some squats and we watch the first rep and pause it there you see the my back's pretty straight I'm pretty happy with that form the knees might be a bit far forward but apart from that, that first rep is pretty clean. But if we watch as the footage goes on and I get through the reps, you notice at the bottom of the movement I start to get a bit of a butt wink going on. And as we go through the set, it actually gets worse and worse. That one was pretty bad. I've also noticed that my elbows aren't as far forward and directly under the bar as I would like. So the main thing I wanted to get across here was, is bad form really bad? And bad form, yeah it is bad, but it means you're pushing yourself to the max. And if we pause it here, you can see the, there's a definite arch in my back, and if you compare that to the first one where I paused it, uh, there's a different, definite change in the angle of my back. And there, as we get to the end of the set, you really see that as I start to come up with the weight, I get a bad arch right there. And that's more of a good morning to get the weight up, which isn't a good thing. However, that doesn't always mean that you're actually doing anything really that bad. Bad form is going to happen. Your form will break down when you're pushing yourself hard. There's no point going into the gym if you're just going to go half assed You can expect bad form, but it should only be towards the end of your set. As you saw, the first rep was pretty good, pretty clean. And then as I went through the set, you know, I pro progressively got worse and worse. Which isn't actually something you want to aim for. You should always aim for good form. But the fact that you are breaking down in form just means that you're going hard. And if you're not getting injured, it's not too bad. Now, for example, from the squats, if you start to get a sore back, then it might be time to check your form and maybe go back to lighter weight to make sure that you're correcting your form and then carrying that over to your working weight. Now, getting into some front squats. Here I just wanted to talk about the importance of filming your own form. And as you can see, these are the warm-up sets here. And to me, it just looks like my back is just a little arched at the bottom of the movement. And after I checked this, you know, I was able to just go, right, what do I need to do? I need to keep my chest up, really focus on sitting back, and keep that back straight, keep my core tight. So, I watched my footage. I thought about all that when I threw my working weight on the bar. And... I got into my movement, I did my reps, I came back, I watched the footage, and you know, it was pretty good, pretty clean. I thought that there wasn't as much arch in my back for my front squats. So guys, two things to take away from this first video. One, bad form isn't always bad. Don't aim for bad form, but if it does happen, don't be immediately discouraged unless it's causing pain or causing injury. Two check your own form. You can't always rely on people in the gym to say your form is great because I've had that before with squats. People telling me your squat form is great and I'm busy thinking well it's okay but sometimes when you're doing the movement you know if you've got an arch in your back or you know if your knees are going too far forward. You know if you are leaning too far forward and not keeping that chest up and that core tight. So you can't always rely on people in the, in the gym. Record your workouts so you can see for yourself how you are doing. Lastly guys, before I let you go, make sure you guys head over to MuscularStrength.com and join up for the Shred Challenge. It's only not quite a week old, so it's 12 weeks long, you've got plenty of time to get in there and win some awesome prizes. I'll link that out down below. Also, make sure you go and check out Scott Herman's fitness channel, Michael Corey's fitness channel, and Matt Keto, aka Goku Flex. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel as well. In my opinion, they are three of the best fitness YouTube channels 
they motivated me to start my own channel so I think you guys should check them out I will link out all of their channels down below thanks for watching guys and I will see you all next time